Welcome back. So my favourite bee plant of the day is rosemary. Look at this. It's beautiful. Uh, so it's a, it's a woody shrub, naturally grows in the Mediterranean. And uh, look there is, that's actually the first worker bumblebee of the year I've seen. That's an early bumblebee. Got pollen on her legs. Uh, you see she's one yellow stripe and a little reddish bottom. She's frantic, frantically busy drinking nectar. Down here we've got a queen common carder. Here she's in focus. Beautiful fluffy bees. The only common all brown um, bumblebee you'll find in your garden. A medium length tongue so it likes kind of slightly deep flowers or they've disturbed each other. Anyway, rosemary. It um, flowers early in the year, mainly in April. Um, it's related to, it's in the mint family, the Lamiaceae, and uh, has bilaterally symmetrical flowers, should you, should you care. Um, uh, obviously the leaves you can use in cooking, as with many members of the, of the mint family, most garden herbs are from the same family. But a really popular early nectar source for mainly bumblebees. Uh, you do see hairy-footed flower bees and a uh, few other insects visiting it, but it's uh, mainly bumblebee queens at this time of year. And of course it's an important time of year for those queens there. There's not too many flower sources around, so um, rosemary plays an important role. This one is a, is a weeping rosemary. As you can see, it's cascading down the, the wall. Um, and behind it, I've got a more conventional upright version. Pretty easy to grow. You need a, a fairly well-drained soil. That's the only thing. So I've got them planted at the top of this sleeper wall which is fairly, it's about the only well-drained place in my garden. Uh, most of it is soggy clay. Anyway, I think rosemary is a rather beautiful plant. Let's see how close we can get. Every garden should have some, both for bees and for cooking. <laughs> 